Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough, it's day 16, let's start the challenges, I'm gonna switch to a new character here, I'm not gonna, um, go back to yellow toe because I'm nearing the challenge stages as, hmm, <laughs> as far as I can tell, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna use my me to play some stuff because my me looks pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what? Without touching the ground, really? Well, this will be interesting. I thought Larry wasn't that hard of a boss. Alright, let's give this a shot. But how will I... Yeah. Because <laughs> I remember that the, um, the water... Unless I'm supposed to just bounce on his shell. You know, something like that, and then... Oh, oh shoot. No, wait, his shell would have spikiness on it, so... Hmm. Alright, this is gonna be more like a puzzle than anything, isn't it? Okay, what if I were to say, bounce on your shell like that... Oh, 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 that works to a point. I just need to stall... Stall out the hits, so to speak, okay. So we go over to the center. And as the water is dissipating, do that. Oh, so close. I was aiming for the middle one, but nah, just didn't happen. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait a little longer this time. There we go. Oh, I touched the ground! <laughs> or at least it looked like I touched the ground because, you know, I died, but I didn't feel like I touched the ground. Anyway. Let's see if I can get something. Yes, okay. Oh, crappers. I've got to predict this better. <laughs> it's. I think it's one of those things that you have to learn in order to complete. I'm not really a fan of this kind of level design, actually, to be honest here. Oh, there we go. See, it's, see now that I got the concept of it... And, oops, and I expected that he was going to land there. I was waiting to land on his head to get myself the second hit there. See, but that's not the kind of level design that I kind of approve of. Which is one of the reasons why I don't like Mega Man games. <laughs> because of this kind of shenanigans and maybe I have to offset my timing a little bit earlier than I think it is. I... Not sure. But yeah, the Mega Man games are this memorization kind of gameplay when it comes to the obstacles and whatnot. And quite frankly, it's not that fun in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, there's some good level design spots, but most of the time it's learn everything. And if you don't, you have to restart the freaking level from the beginning. <laughs> oh, oh, I slipped off the water. Durr. Uh, I, I kind of got the first part, it's just a matter of timing it with the second part. That's what I'm trying to do here. See, I can do this part just by doing... He never did that before. <laughs> like, he, he always went underneath the water spout. I wonder what if, I, if what I'm supposed to do is... Like, hit him early enough and then get back on to the water spouts. Yeah, because that wouldn't work, would it? Hmm. There must be some way to do this, obviously. <laughs> like, what if I were to hit him here, let him do a spinny thing, and then get up here? Uh, well, that kind of works. Because then, now here, I'll be able to hit him on his head and get onto one of these. And now, I just gotta do this. And... I had it! <laughs> okay, that, that's definitely what they want you to do here, is to hit him early enough so that you have control over your landing. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so now I wait. No, 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 no! Oh, he screwed me over there! <laughs> Did not expect to hit him at that point, but yeah, that's how it's done. You've seen I was close there. So, get over there, hit him. 
slide, get up here, that's good timing, and then from here, pop them. Oh, I fail on the wall kick. I wonder if I, no wait, I couldn't have aimed for the water spouts because that would have been much, much too quick. I mean, they would have came too early. Oh no! I was a little late there on my <laughs> follow-up jump. Go, 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 go! Hit! I'll get to this side. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have did it that early. Yeah. You have to do everything last minute in order to not touch the ground. I'm still thinking about that third part there, which is what's kind of taking me here. I mean, which is kind of distracting me, pardon me. So I'll just stay there, and then like that, okay. And from here, bop them. Yes! Now wait for it. Yes! Yes! That took longer than I expected it did, but it, it was just a matter of, as I said, figuring out how it is, and if that was a Mega Man level, that would be a lot more frustrating because you'd have a lot longer and a bigger area to learn, and that's, again, uh, never mind. I should stop ranting about Mega Man and play. No climbing allowed! Oh, this is... That stage, yeah. And I'm supposed to reach it in mini form, so there's probably no power-ups and stuff like that. So, no climbing whatsoever. I'm just probably gonna have to wall kick my way up everywhere. And it looks like they started me at uh, ye old midpoint section. Like this right here, this will be the first non-climbing obstacle. Just gotta wall kick, and I, because they give you mini Mar Mario powers, you know, you have the ability to have ultra floaty jumps and that'll be able to, I mean, it'll enable you to make it through this, I suppose. Hmm. I believe if I were to get all the prizes from that green ring, I wouldn't want to because I would lose my mini Mario status and fail instantly. Or at least that's what I, oh god, that's what I'm expecting. Oh, uh, wait a second, how do I get... Yeah, I was going to say, how do I get up there when there's going to be a steady stream of meteors falling down? Hmm, give it another shot? Is there anything in these boxes, like, just for the fun of it? There's a coin, but that, that's like, it's completely useless at this point. As a matter of fact, there isn't even any, um, coin marker on the screen. It's just the time and the rain of death. <laughs> Boop. There you go. Gotta control Mini Mario. You must succeed. You must dance. Okay, maybe not. That dancing is kind of not going to work when it comes to victory. Unless, of course, you're playing Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Then, then you're going to have some victory. Although dancing, I mean, I mean Dance Dance Revolution isn't really you know, like, dancing, dancing. <laughs> it's more like, flail your feet to hit the panels in an extremely difficult video game. Oh, God. <laughs> this is not going to go well, is it? Okay, do not climb. I'm getting behind the curve. Ah, that's what I thought. Because those, the big meteors, they fall down at a rate very close to the rate that you slide down walls. I'm close, though. Uh, that's a much better way to do that spot. Uh. Uh. Go, 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 go. All right. This time I've got a little bit of extra leeway here, so I should get a meteor in my face. I should have waited at that other alcove rather than getting greedy. Ugh. What? I think those meteors at that point actually come at different rates. That's what's kind of throwing me off here, because what I'm doing is I'm ending up improvising the timing on the meteors rather than actually being able to do things in a repeatable fashion. 
so to speak, so it's it's a reaction time thing, and that's what is, keeps messing me up with the meteors. Like over here. Normally I'm able to just do that, but see, sometimes a meteor comes at that point and other times it doesn't. So I don't get why that is. Anyway. Ah! See, there it is again. But it's sometimes not there. Okay, this time I'm gonna wait, and it seemed to have come a little later that time, but I might be able to scoot around that spot, and no, I can't. See, the thing about that is you have to get ahead of the curve, so to speak. If you are too far behind, the large meteors at that point prevent you from progressing as fast as you would need to in order to keep away from the meteors and away from the approaching bottomless pit at that point. Okay, I think I've got an okay situation, but I don't. I don't. I'm just fooling myself. <laughs> Oh wow, that's a new place to die at. I'm just rushing now. Okay, wait for all three meteors. That was two. Here's three. And now make the jumps. And hope that you are able to pull this off. But, oh wait, wait, what? You have a lot more give off the screen than I thought you did. Maybe that's the key to beating this one after, <clears throat> after all. Oh, crappers. Uh. See, all I need in this part is consistent meteors, so to speak, so that I'm able to do whatever moves I need to do in order to get past that part. But as I said, it doesn't feel like the meteors fall at the same rates every time, so it almost feels like this is a luck-based one. See, the key to getting consistent results with pretty much anything is a consistent uh, outcome, whether it's, you know, something attacking you or whatever. Like over here... Eh. It's just so hard to get through that area when the meteors seem like they don't always line up where you expect them to be. Hmm. I've got to try to find a way to get ahead of these meteors just... Yeah, like something like that. Because I need to get... Hmm. Because I need to get enough time to avoid the bottomless pit at that last run there. Because clearly the meteors, they leave room for some improvisation, that's for sure. <laughs> or at least it feels like it to me. It just doesn't seem like the meteors are falling at the same rate they always do in each run. And that might very well be the challenge. Or maybe they are, and maybe my feel is off today or something like that. I don't know. But as you can see, I've got this first portion pretty well down path, and I know that there's a little ledge up here that I can jump up onto. I don't even have to be racing ahead here, it's just that I simply know the level on up to this point here. It's a really, really short stage, but it's been keeping me for like 15 minutes now. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna try... See, look at that! Did you see that? No meteor came that... I mean, no third meteor came that time. Why that time was there no second meteor. I don't understand that. Was it because I was already wall jumping in the way and it offset the meteor from spawning? But if that's the case, how do I manage to get that to trigger each and every time I play this level? As I said, consistency is an important factor in playing anything... well, I should say platforming in general because you have to have some sort of consistency in order to be able to 
uh, learn the layout of things. But of course, there is some randomness, like, you know, there's the cheap, cheap kind of uh, obstacles, but they still, they still have a consistency to them. <clears throat> like, if you... If you notice, the cheap cheeps, they, they fly in the air in an, in an arc pattern. So you know that you need to stay in the middle of that arc in order to avoid the death of the fish. <laughs> so to speak. So, oh shoot. Now there goes, goes my timing. What if I were to... No, I already screwed it up, didn't I? Yeah, I think... Yep. <clears throat> but yeah, like... Um... So when a level does have elements that change each different kind of run, I mean each run, basically what it does is that they still have an element of predictability to them. Even if they are coming from an off-screen area, like comparing these meteors. But as you, as you can see, the meteors, they sometimes pop in, they sometimes don't. I, <laughs> it's, it's weird. No third meteor that time, again, for whatever reason. Okay, I'm gonna try to go, uh, I was gonna say, try to go around the big meteor. Like, go just barely under it, and then wall kick over it, off of that little ledge. I think that's the key to managing that last portion. Okay, there's definitely a slight ran randomness to the meteors there, because there's usually a big one that falls down on that middle pattern, so I wasn't crazy after all! <laughs> I, so the difficulty of this stage is indeed the randomness of the meteors. It's not the platforming aspects or the wall kicking aspects. It's it's those meteors that force you to improvise whatever thing you have to do. Like, let's see how many there are this time. There's three that time, but I managed to avoid it somehow. Okay, now here, what I want to do is that. Just like that. Now from here, I'm going to go up there. Hole kick to the next plateau. Same after this meteor, and I should should is the key word here. Be safe to the end. I just want to make sure. And where did that meteor fall from over here? It was just like, hmm. <laughs> there we go. Yep, the challenge is definitely the randomness of the meteors in that one. Not a hard stage, but it's just that random factor that. You don't know when they're coming off screen, and you need to be so and so far ahead of the screen in order to continue. Now the camera says 31 minutes, 31 minutes and 41 seconds actually, but after cutting, I know there's not going to be all that much footage here. So let's collect the star coin in Meringue Clouds 3. I don't know which star coin there. Oh, that star coin. Uh, hmm, I guess I'm just supposed to wall kick my way up. Uh, what was here before that that's missing that I was able to get through this area before? I don't remember. Was it a mini Mario segment? I don't... I... Uh oh <laughs> Alright, but this is a really, really short stage, so... You know, I should do this, then do that, and then do... Oops! <laughs> Not oops. But I think you see what I was doing there. I was crisscrossing between the walls and the way the bullet bills are timed. Uh, next spot with the bottomless pit there might be a little bit tricky, but this first spot I understand completely. Just like that. Now over here, I just want to try and judge <laughs> what they want me to do before I blindly jump into it. I think they want me to... Not that! <laughs> I was gonna say, I think they want me to bounce off the bottom bill, then onto the middle one, and then start doing the wall kick between bullet bills like I was doing on the left side here. Sim in a similar way, of course. Boop! Boop! There we go. Alright, over here. Must pay attention to the... <laughs> to the bullet bills! I was looking at the bottom ones and just kind of look, uh, barely looking at the top there, and that's what caused me to do that flub of a jump. Boop. There we go. But this, it's just, hmm. It's another puzzle of sorts. <laughs> you must visualize the jump angles and whatnot. Ah, I guess you don't have enough jump height for that one. 
Hmm. Maybe we'll, what I'll have to do is... Like, do a midway jump? Uh, if you understand what I mean. Like, jump when a bullet is underneath that middle cannon there. Uh, you'll see when I give it a shot. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to fire and then go for it he Hmm, that's perfectly in my way. <laughs> so maybe that's not the trick, because that other one will get in my way each and every time based on the fact that the cannons are uh, consistent. Yeah, they're consistent! I've missed consistency! <laughs> Unless... Wait, wait, I think I got it. No, I was thinking maybe wall jump off the left side there and get underneath the one that got in my way the first time, but the other bullets seem to get in your way, unless that is the, the trick to it, is you're supposed to do a precise aerial jump. Once I get past the second, it's of course a simple drop downwards, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Okay, what I want, what I'm thinking I'm supposed to do here is, uh, not that, definitely not that. <laughs> I was trying to save myself there, but I failed. <laughs> I am not going to be happy editing this part, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Just need to have better timing at... Not that. Oh! I think that's close to what they wanted me to do, but I missed the bullet bill on my way down. Okay. We have something here. Or at least I think so. <laughs> I don't know what's the point of that uh, bullet bill way, way, way on the bottom there. It's just like... It's there to... Oops, whoops, be for show. And I gotta concentrate more here. It's only like a couple of bullet bill hops and a few wall jumps in the whole on the whole thing, as far as I'm visualizing it at this point. Alright. Boop. 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 Now from here. See I gotta get. Oh, I can offset the timing. Of course! Why didn't I think of that? I can offset the timing of the bullet bills by being next to the cannons. Duh. I'm not using my head here. I forgot that the bullet bill cannons have that mechanic, and that's probably to keep the key to making them do what you want them to do. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is get over here, prevent them from firing at the time that they wanted to, and then... There we go! Oh! Oh! I can do it from here! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I've got to use my head more, dang it. Um, I'm afraid to try one more stage <laughs> at this point because I don't know how the editing will be, but... Well, let's see what it is. Oops, wait, wait, what? Oh, no more. I was expecting something to unlock. Mm, using only the spin jumps. Okay, I can get three one-ups. This I can do, I think. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> the first Goombrat, and I failed terribly. Okay, so, you just gotta spin, jump your way through the... I was gonna say, the heavens. And I've also gotta time my spin jumps to be with those Koopas up ahead, just to keep my chain going. There we go. I'm just, I decided to skip that one Goombrath over there because of the fact that I figure I'm just going to stick with uh, timing my jumps in an easy way. Wow, how did I manage that? <laughs> I came up short on my jump somehow. Luckily, <clears throat> okay, it's clear that I'm not all here at the moment. Perhaps the next part will be <laughs> more consistent on my end. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm still having a good time though, because I, I love the special design, I mean, special stage concepts they have here. 
to oh i almost had the three up there i only had two more bounces to go but yeah i'm, I'm very much enjoying the uh new takes on the side scrolling genre here by having challenges rather than just specific stages that you go through there go and ah oh, that works <laughs> all right i'm done here gonna take a tad of a break i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next part